keep it going. Your next act on the stage, everybody, give it up for Kate Morehead! I'm not gonna use this because I'm short. <laughs> I'm the youngest of all these people here. Um, I've been homeschooled my entire life, and that means three things about me. I believe in methods of education other than our conventional means. I was allowed to graduate yearly because of uh, homeschooling. And I'm a socially awkward virgin. <laughs> people always ask me, like, so, how does homeschooling work? Well, first of all, uh, I do my schooling at home. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, homeschooling was great. Uh, my mom was my teacher, so that allowed me to get a really good relationship with her. Um, she was really good at teaching me all of the all of the subjects, except for sexual education. <laughs> uh, I actually failed that course. Uh, every time I had a quiz or something, my mom, my mom would ask me a question, and I the only thing I imagined just uh, managed to say was, uh, "Gross, mom. <laughs> Gross." <laughs> Expand my interests and do a lot of extra things on my uh, free time. Uh, I, I like to do, I'm, I'm big into tap dancing and parkour. The thing about those two things is when uh, I tell people about them, specifically uh, tap dancing, people are always like, oh, so you tap dance. So uh, when you walk in a room, do you look at the floor and say, I tap that? <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> or, or parkour. I said, yeah, I do parkour. They're like, oh, oh, so, so, you, so you do it like this, right? Parkour! <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> So, uh, my, one of my other interests that I like to do in my free time is uh, look up like scientific theories and things. Like, the more unique, the better. One I found that I that I really, really, I really like is the simulation theory. So, for the simulation theory, I'll just explain it quickly. It's uh, it's a, the theory that our real life, our reality that we're living right now, isn't real. It's a simulation, like a computer simulation, like a video game, kind of like the bad, a bad version of the Matrix. And um, so I have this vision in my head that it's just like these two guys in, in lab coats with uh, big glasses and bad comb-overs in, in sort of a lab with uh, like old uh, 70s computers and stuff, and they just hear, bing, 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 bing. They run up to the computer like, oh my gosh, what happened? Oh, they destroyed their ecosystem by global warming. Huh? Now all their ecosystems are completely destroyed. How many points is that worth? <laughs> uh, it, it's sort of, the simulation theory brings a whole new meaning to the wise, wise words of David. Is this real life? <laughs> After you went to the dentist. <laughs> um, uh, I was homeschooled along with uh, two of my older sisters. I spent a lot of time with uh, my older sister, especially the one that, that was uh, three years older than me. I was about, I'm going to tell you a story now, a, a story from my childhood. I like to call it the bitch versus whore story. <laughs> and um, it's about my sister. And. Um, <laughs> So one day we were watching TV, and I was just sitting there, and my sister decided to, you know, give me a new nickname. She just turned to me and said, Gig, you're a whore. I'm like, um, do you even know what whore means? Like, are you sure? Yeah, it means you, uh, you, you look funny and you smell bad. I'm like, I don't think that's, that's what it means. Like, can you just stop calling me that? Because it's, like, hurting my feelings. <laughs> no, because you're a whore. You're just like a man whore. I'm like, no, just stop it, please. No, you're a whore. So I decided, at this point, I'm going to retaliate. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call her a name. So I decided to think of the worst name I could think of, so I was like, Cheyenne, you're a bitch. <laughs> <gasps> mom, Gig called me a bitch! So my mom walks in the room, she's like, Gig, did you, did you call your sister a bitch? I'm like, well, no, well, yes, but I, and she called me a whore. <gasps> Don't say whore. <laughs> Do you know what that means? That means, gross, Mom, gross. <laughs> So I, I was like, but fine. I'm sorry, Cheyenne, I called you that. She's like, okay. My mom walks out of the room. Better be a whore. <laughs> that, that, that day, I learned a valuable lesson. That lesson is called feminism. <laughs> and I also learned that I don't understand feminism. <laughs> and I'm not supposed to. But at least I remember to put the toilet seat back down. <laughs> so at least I got that going for me. Thank you, you guys have been great.